This approach to guerrilla enrichment is brand new. What we're trying to do is bridge the gap between traditional methods and new technology. The aim was to create something that would be designed specifically for guerrillas and not just an adaptation of the types of games that humans use. The keepers emphasise that the guerrillas like tactile materials, so we've tried to incorporate that into our design. Any visitor that comes to the zoo over the next couple of months should be able to see the device in action and maybe create a competition designing their own module to see the gorillas interacting with it. But at the moment we are testing to see if the device is going to be beneficial to the welfare of the gorillas, as my research suggests. The original brainstorming process came with all sorts of crazy ideas and then we really went back to the roots of the original premise to create a game system. The first prototypes we made were cardboard and then making small mock-ups in the computer. The Gorilla Game Lab system is a box with 12 modules, each one containing a maze kind of game element. Each block can be uh, rotated, you can have new bits put in, and that allows a whole bunch of different permutations with only a few simple elements. The technology in the back of the device has uh, the role of monitoring how the game's used. It's then available in real time on a web page. Testing with the gorillas presents a very interesting, different challenge because you can't really communicate with them. I think the, the big success is that it didn't just appeal to one, it appealed to the entire troop. But I think what we really need to be aware of is if we were to take away the food as a motivator, would it then still be engaging? We want to raise the bar to enrich the welfare of animals in zoos throughout the world.